Welcome back to my channel Math School. In today's video, let us solve the example number 8 from chapter 2 triangles. In my previous videos, I have completed the theorem 2.1 to 2.5, examples 1 to 7 and also exercises problems we have solved from 2.1 and 2.2. So if you have not watched these videos, do find the link in the description box below or click the i button above. So now quickly let us begin with the video. Example number 8 from chapter 2 triangle says in figure 2.33 CM and RN are respectively the medians of triangle ABC and triangle PQR. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, prove that triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR. Second, we have to prove CM by RN is equal to AB by PQ. And the third part which we have to prove is triangle CMB is similar to triangle RNQ. Okay, so if you look at the figure 2.33, they have given us two triangles ABC and triangle PQR. Okay, and they are saying us that CM and and RN are the medians of these two triangles respectively. If triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR, so we have to prove three things. That triangle AMC is also similar to triangle PNR and CM by RN is equal to AB by PQ. And the third part what we have to prove is triangle CMB is similar to triangle RNQ. So let us prove the first part of the question. Triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR. Now let us write down first what they have given here. Given CM and RN are medians of triangle ABC and triangle PQR and also they have given triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. So let us write down from what is given since CM is the median of triangle ABC given since CM is median of triangle ABC. What does the word median means? It divides the side. A median divides a side in two equal parts. So here the medium CM is dividing AB into two equal parts that is AM and MB. So AM will be equal to MB. So we can write down AM will be equal to MB equal to half of AB as this medium CM divides AB into two equal parts that is AM and MB. AM is equal to half of AB and MB will also be equal to half of AB. So we will write half of AB. If we bring this two to the left hand side we can say 2AM is equal to AB. Okay, so twice of AM will form AB and similarly twice of MB will form AB. So we can write 2AM is equal to 2MB and that is equal to AB. Let this be equation number 1. Now similarly, since RN is the median of PQR triangle, therefore we can write since RN is median of triangle PQR. So write down that is PN is equal to QN is equal to half of PQ. Half of PQ. Or we can write 2PN is equal to 2QN is equal to PQ. Twice of PN or twice of QN will also be equal to PQ. So let this be equation number 2. And also what they have given that triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. Given triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR then we can say the sides of triangle ABC and triangle PQR in equal proportion that is AC by RP is equal to AB by QN and that will be equal to BC by QR. The sides of two triangles will be in equal proportion and also the corresponding angles that is angle A will be equal to angle P, angle B will be equal to angle Q and angle C will be equal to angle R. So let us write down AB by PQ will be equal to BC by QR and that will be equal to CA by RP and angle A is equal to angle P, angle B 
will be equal to angle Q and angle C will be equal to angle R. Reason is the corresponding sides of similar triangles are proportional and angles are equal. So let this be equation number 3. Now since we have to prove that triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR and these two triangle sides AC and PR. Now if you look at the ratio here, so for these two triangles which are sides which are coming to picture that is CA by RP and AB by PQ comes into picture for these two triangles. So we will take only these two ratios AB by PQ equal to CA by RP. So since we have to prove the triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR. So now let us substitute the value of AB and PQ from equation 1 and 2. So from equation 1 AB is equal to 2AM and PQ will be equal to 2PN. So let us substitute those values here. So thus will be AB is 2AM divided by 2PM that is equal to CA divided by RP. So here you will notice the 2 and 2 in the numerator and denominator will get cancelled. So we will get AM by PN is equal to CA by RP. So let this be equation number 4. Now we will notice that the, we have got the ratio AM by PN is equal to CA by RP. So here if you notice AM by PN is equal to CA by RP. Now since we have to prove the triangle CAM is similar to triangle PNR, two of the sides are in equal proportions, right? That is what we got in equation number 4 that is AM by PN is equal to CA by RP. And also if you notice from equation number 3, also one of the angles that is angle A is equal to angle P. So two sides of this triangle are in equal proportion and an angle in between these two sides is also equal that is angle A is equal to angle P. So by SAS similarity criteria we can say that the triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR. Okay so write down in triangle AMC and PNR AM by PN is equal to CA by RP from equation 4. AM by PN is equal to CA by RP from 4 and also the angle A is equal to angle P from equation 3. So now we can write down by SAS similarity criteria we can say that triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR. Okay, so hence we have proved the first part of the question. Now similarly let us prove the part 2 of the example number 8. Now since we have proved that the triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR, now we will use this triangle. So since this triangle is similar then the, then the corresponding sides will be proportional of these two triangles. So by using that we will prove that this proportion CM by RN is equal to AB by PQ. So question number 2 says we have to prove CM by RN is equal to AB divided by PQ. So we will write down since triangle AMC is similar to triangle PNR. So from these two similar triangles we can write CM by RN is equal to AM by PN and that is equal to CA by RP right so write down cm by rn is equal to am by pn and that will be equal to ca divided by r so let this be equation number six so now if you observe the equation number three where we had taken the proportion of the similar triangles ABC and PQR, take the first and third ratio. If you take the first and third ratio from this equation number 3 and write down here that is AB by PQ is equal to CA by R. Okay, so this is from equation number 3. We took the first and the third ratio since we have to prove that 
cm by rn is equal to ab by pq from here if you see we got ab by pq and from equation number 6 again if you take the first and third ratio we have cm by rn is equal to ca by rp and from this equation number 3 we have ab by pq is equal to ca by rp so just forget about this side for now and if you observe right hand side of these two equations, we have CA by RP. If the right hand sides of this equations are equal, then the left hand sides will also be equal. So we can write down from equation number 6 and third equation, we can say that CM by RN is equal to AB by PQ. CM by RN will be equal to AB divided by okay so hence we have again proved the second part of the example number eight so now let us solve the third part of the question which says prove that the triangle cmb is similar to triangle r and q okay so we have to prove this triangle cmb is similar to triangle r n and q like how we prove that the triangle amc is similar to triangle p and r in the first part of the question in the same way we are going to prove this uh, triangle also similar from the given similar triangle that is abc and pqr we took ab by pq is equal to ca by rp that is the first and third ratio we took here to prove the triangle amc is similar to triangle pnr three we had taken this right so from equation three we had taken this ratio similarly we will take the ratio ab by pq is equal to bc by qr cos here if you look at the triangle cmb and rn Q we need to prove sides that is BC and QR will come into picture and here AB and QP will come into picture for these two triangles so we are taking the ratios AB by PQ is equal to BC by QR from equation number 3 so write down AB by PQ is equal to B by QR from 3 from the equation 1 and 2 what is the value of ab and pq ab can be written as equal to 2mb and pq can be written as equal to 2qn right so write down from 1 and 2 we can write ab as 2mb and pq value as 2qn that will be equal to bc by qr Okay, so this 2 and 2 will get cancelled again. So we get the ratio MB by QN is equal to BC by QR. So let this be equation number 7. So now let us write down in triangle CMB and triangle R and Q. In triangle CMB and triangle R and Q. From the equation 7, we got the sides MB by QN is equal to BC by QR. So these two sides are proportional. So we got two sides to be proportional from equation 7 in these two triangles. So write down MB by QN is equal to BC by QR from equation 7 and also if you notice this equation number 3 they have given us the angle B is equal to angle Q so this angle B is equal to angle Q from equation 3 so write down angle B is equal to angle Q from 3 so now you observe that the sides which are proportional in these two triangles are MB by QN is equal to BC by QR and in between we have a triangle which is also equal that is angle B is equal to angle Q. So therefore we can say from SAS similarity criteria triangle CMB is similar to triangle R and Q. Okay, so we have proved the third part of the example number 8 also. So this is how we solve this problem. If you have any further doubts, you can do comment me below in the comment section. In my next video, I'll be starting with the exercise 2.3. So I'll be solving question number 1 from exercise 2.3 chapter 2 triangle. So till then do like my video and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell button below to get the latest updates of my videos as I'll be completing the whole syllabus for class 10th SLC and cert math. And also do watch the related videos shown on the screen from this chapter 2 triangles. Thank you.